there, Sugar Bear. Today, Rudy Land proudly presents the unquestioned top ten best films of all time. Unlike all those other lists just assembled to appease you, this one isn't afraid to shock you into a, a sad state of, of dry fecal matter and, and urine. No, this is the only definitive listing of the top ten greatest movies in Earth history. 1997's Campfire Tales, directed by Matt Martin David, Cooper, Coonert Semmel, is a romantic comedy with heart starring Amy Smart, Christine Taylor, James Marsden, Christopher Masterson, and Jay Ferguson. The five childhood friends meet up for a lakeside reunion at the old Collingwood place. After a fun-filled day of fun in the sun and methamphetamines, the quintet finds themselves at a crossroads. They'll have to decide, go apart, or stay together. After an early evening of drinking, the five share a night of passion together. Will this solidify the deep-rooted bonds of the past? Or will this be the last nail in the coffin for orgies? Nine. 2002's Extreme Ops, directed by Christian Duguay, and starring Devin Sawa, Bridget Wilson, Rupert Graves, and Rufus Sewell. In this spy thriller, Graves, Sawa, and Sewell star as a trio of down-to-earth spies. While on a snowboarding trip to Chechnya, the trio are captured by the terrorist madman Black Claw, Bridget Wilson, who after infiltrating the Kremlin, acquires a list containing the agent's whereabouts. She then blows up two cancer orphanages, and threatens to introduce Chemical 4227 to the world water supply, an experimental compound with the innate ability to subtly transform water into canine saliva. Will our dudes escape, and can they stop this heinous fiend before it's too late? 1996's The First Wives Club, directed by Hugh Wilson and starring Goldie Hawn, Bette Midler, and Kathy Lee Gifford. This adventure sees the three dabble in satanic witchcraft. While posing as a widow support group, they recruit and then ritualistically sacrifice recent widows. Bronson Pinchot plays a South African witch hunter, and Dan Hadaya, a Chinese princess who through insidious influence is set to wed Bette Midler. In a prearranged marriage, the emperor is convinced Bette Midler is a Chinese nobleman that also does have a penis. Will Bronson Pinchot and his band of merry men stop them before they bring about a new age of blood and demon rape? Seven. 2011's The Hangover 2, directed by Fritz Lang, starring Bradley Cooper, Zach Galifianakis, and Ed Helms. Heather Graham nor the baby return for this sequel. A fresh take on the Hangover series, this adventure finds the three friends in Paraguay, hunting for an ancient city comprised entirely of topaz. Ken Jung returns as a French archaeologist who is seemingly one step ahead of our boys the whole way. With Jung and the Nazis on their tail, can these guys survive long enough to save the world and have sex with transsexual strippers again? A 200-mile-per-hour roller coaster ride packed to the brim with guns, drugs, and, of course, dungaree-wearing primates. Six. 1994's Blank Check is a rare live-action Disney drama. Brian Bosnell plays dwarf Preston Waters. Preston has just inherited his father's, Miguel Ferrer, cocaine distribution operation. Miguel was prosecuted for two murders and is sentenced to die in Nova Scotia. Karen Duffy is Shay Stanley, an assassin who plays all the angles, and she does the one thing an assassin can't do, though. Fall in love with the target, Preston. Despite Preston's age, he looks so much like a child, the intimate scenes between the two frankly come off a little pedophilic. Can Preston maintain his father's stranglehold on the world cocaine market? Can he learn to let her in and love? Five. 
1997's The Pest sees John Leguizamo as Sanger Rainsford, Gustav Schenk as General Zaroff, and Ari Spears in this award-winning reimagining of The Deadliest Game by Richard Connell. While on his way to Europa to hunt the elusive Europan Moa, a four-foot, thousand-pound salamander whose bloodlust is only surpassed by his ferocity and rage, during a routine spacewalk, someone or something cuts Leguizamo's line, and he falls to the surface of Jupiter. Dizzied and concussed, he's taken in by a charismatic Spanish general, Zarov, and his Russian assistant, Ares Spears. There's something very wrong on Jupiter, but we'll sing or figure it out before it's too late. 2002's Blue Crush, directed by John Stockwell and starring Michelle Rodriguez as Eden, Arizona, a former college field hockey star trying to hack it as an undercover FBI agent. Her new assignment pairs her with Kirk Douglas, a veteran loose cannon surfer who believes a series of ever-daring bank robberies are being perpetrated by a gang of radioactive surfers, Kate Bosworth, Sonoma Lake, Micah Borum, and their leader, Phase on love. Will Eden learn to surf well enough for an audacious rocket-powered surfboard climax on horseback? Or will she fall prey to Faison's Herculean form or his Shakespearean silver tongue? Be washed away in the blue crush. Orangutan. 1997's The Beautician and the Beast, directed by Ken Quapis, features Timothy Dalton as a classic car restorer who winds up in a chase for an international super spy, Fran Drescher. While she says her motives are true, the feds say she's a loose cannon on the edge and set to blow. Meanwhile, the simple auto mechanic can't help but fall in love with this mute special agent. Didn't I say mute? Will his love for her outweigh his love for his motherland? Find out next year. 2. 1997's Idle Hands, directed by Rodman Flender, and stars Eldon Henson, Seth Green, Jessica Elba, and the incredible Devon Sawa. In a spin-off of the Addams Family series, Thing, the Hand, Devon Sawa, is in love with Item, another sentient hand. Eldon Hansen. Seth Green and Jessica Alba play glove and mitten moguls, respectively, who created Item by way of demonic means to create the ultimate glove and mitten mascot, the one thing that the handwear market is missing. After discovering Item's escape, the two set off in a dastardly plot of betrayal and botflies hell-bent to capture the two. Green and Alba will do anything, and Thing will do anything to live with the sentient hand he loves. One. 2004's The Village, directed by M. Night Shyamalan, starring Bryce Howard Dallas alongside Joaquin Phoenix and Adrian Brody in an Oscar-worthy performance. The Village is an uplifting tale of enchantment and love. This magical village in southeastern Ukraine lies within a large forest, wherein resides a healthy population of magical, mystic gelflings. These gelflings provide a magical barrier which protects the village from the oncoming necromonger horde. Not only a magical barrier, but also they grant the villagers the ability to urinate whiskey. With the necromongers closing in and a mysterious illness befalling the Gelflings, Bryce Dallas Howard is going to have to find the strength to learn to see. I swear to God. home hysterical because her Judy has been decapitated because you two sickos took the head for God knows what reason some voodoo shit you're doing where is it 
Stop scratching your... Hey, <laughs> 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 